Hopefully, we should now be live. Hello to anybody who is currently in. Sorry that we've had to change the uh, page that we're doing this on, but uh, we basically have to stream off my phone because I don't really have a very good webcam, so hopefully people will be joining us soon. So, let's see how we get on. Let's just wait for some people to come in. Oh, we've got quite a few people in now, 25 already, goodness me. You go oh, 37. I have a feeling, a sneaky feeling, because we're giving away 16 and a half ounces worth of silver, that uh, today we are going to have a record number of people on the stream. So welcome. Already lots of people coming into the chat. Uh, I'm going to ask for a few volunteers for any uh, moderators to help monitor the chat today, because uh, it's going to be, I think, a pretty busy live stream. We've already got 65 people in here already. Massive amount of people. So if you want to be uh, a moderator, if you want to help out with a little bit of comment moderating, uh, keeping away any nasty, horrible comments, things like that, then uh, please just let me know. Uh, right. In fact, there's a few of you in here. I'm just going to, so John RMS, I'm going to uh, make you a moderator because I know you very well. Silverback Stacker, hello. I'm just going to make you a moderator as well because I know you very well too. And if anyone else wants to um, volunteer, just let me know. Uh, but otherwise, welcome. Hello. How is everybody doing this fine weekend? Just trying to find myself a pen so I can write some things down. Right. Ginger8383, I've seen you in chats before, so we'll add you as a moderator. And uh, yeah, so, okay, welcome to the live stream. So guys, say hello if you are here. Let us know where you are from. Uh, it'd be very cool to, uh, to see from where around in the world you are coming from to watch this stream here today. Humble old me sitting in my kitchen talking to myself. The neighbors must think I'm absolutely bonkers. Um, so we've got a, just a couple of reminders and rules for the stream. today. So number one, be polite and nice. Number two, have fun. That should be pretty much all the rules that we need to cover across today. We're here to have some fun guys and we're also here to draw the winners for these two very very cool silver bars. We've got the grand prize 9.9 .9 ounces of lovely hand poured silver and look at that we've got an incredible laser etched hallmark, really deep laser etch. You can feel it with your finger, so it's really very cool indeed. And we've got the second place prize, which is the 6.6 .6 ounce. And lovely ripples on the top and another laser etched hallmark. Look at that, bang, let's go. What an awesome piece we have there. Up to 72 people in the stream now. So I'm not going to be able to keep up with everybody um, in the chat, I know, <laughs> but uh, if you want to say hello, we've got lots of people from the UK, we've got some people from New York, Patrick Keegan from New York, we've got Robert Shipley in Arkansas, US, hello. Uh, Tall Thin Kev from Cambridge. Uh, Tall Thin Kev, I know we've spoken before, I'm going to make you a moderator if you want to help out, then feel free, if not, then don't worry. Uh, Spanish Silver, I'm going to add you as a moderator as well, just in case we get any of the uh, wonderful, lovely troll communities that come by every now and again. Uh, right, we've got a lot of people coming into the stream now, 75. If we can hit over 100 people watching live, that'd be pretty incredible. Uh, the most we've ever had, I think it was about 80, and we're about to pass that. We've got 80 in the stream already. Um, so for those of you who are tuning in for the live draw of the subscriber giveaway, we are going to be doing that at approximately 5.30 p.m. UK time. So we're going to do that at half five UK time. I don't know what time that is where you are because you're all, you're all over the world. Um, but that's when we're going to do it. So we're going to do a little bit of a build up. Uh, we've got, here's all the entries, 1,037 entries. If you look on this final page here, sorry, 1,038 entries. Look at that. And uh, I've been going through all of these all day. We've been um, taking all of the 
results out of the comments sections or all of the comments out the comment section of that pri uh, sort of giveaway video. We've been going through them, making sure people qualify for the entries. We've basically done the due diligence on it. We've got 1,037, so that's the labour of love. Rather than just doing a random comment picker uh, on these plenty of websites that can do that, we've just done it the old-fashioned hard way and we'll be using a random.org, a random number generator to pick a number between 1 and 1,038. So um, I first of all want to just say a huge thank you to everybody who has joined in in this giveaway and uh, you know it's it's ridiculous quite so how many comments we got on that and I know it's kind of you know you give away a bit of silver of course people are going to want to comment on it but there's so many people in this giveaway that were just so very generous with their kind words and comments so uh, yeah you know you know what guys it's like what more can you say 1038 comments and originally I was going to try and reply to every single one but uh, you know you take you take 30 seconds per comment and all of a sudden you've got an entire week's worth of work just sitting there going um, you know replying to comments so it's it's just not practical unfortunately so I just want to say a huge thank you whether you're watching and you've joined in this uh, giveaway already that's great if not then you know thank you um, so we've got uh, quite a lot of people in the chat. We're over 100, 105 people, 107. Thank you all for watching. If you're just joining the stream, 5.30 p.m. is the time that you need to know about. Uh, we're going to do the, uh, the stream there. Be very grateful if uh, you want to uh, you want to support the channel, then hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. If you're coming along here just to uh, say hello, then say hello. That's always nice to hear. I will try and keep up with the chat as best as I can as we go through it, but you know, there's a lot of people who are commenting in here saying hello, so I'm going to try my best to go through, but if you want to say something specifically to me, if you've got a question specifically for me, mm. if you put the at sign and you go uh, at Backyard Bullion, uh, then oh, you probably just saw the screen blur, blur, that was an email coming in. Uh, if you say at Backyard Bullion, it highlights for it for me and I can see it. Um, so I think I'm just going to try and put my phone onto non-vibrate mode because I'm streaming off my phone if you did not know then hopefully any more emails that come through won't make the phone all buzz and blurry so let's just have a little bit of a build up and a warm up for the subscriber giveaway so we've got here you've probably seen it lurking in the corner of the screen here a big old box of silver and this is my community stack box and uh, it's really very fun so I thought what better time uh, to basically get some stuff out and have a good look through than on a live stream with all of you fabulous wonderful people so I'm just going to have to move around to the other side of the camera and for that in fact I'll give you all a little bit of a sneak peek look this is my furnace that I'm balancing my camera on high-tech equipment here in the backyard bullion household it's a perfect little kind of uh, angled bit of metal on the top of the furnace which allows me to uh, position the camera perfectly which is fantastic and it's so much simpler than getting a big old uh, you know basically camera attached to the computer and everything it's just ridiculous so yeah uh, silverback stacker real poorer using his furnace as a tripod i know tell me about it uh, I've, <laughs> it was a happenstance. It was really very fluky that it's a perfect angle and everything as well. So, so over here we've got a bunch of the MK Bars channel rounds. Those were very fun whilst they lasted. They were really very cool indeed. And thank you to anybody who picked up a Backyard Bullion one. Uh, Shorty Boy 48035 is asking, what kind of metal is it? It's silver, of course, my friend. That is why we are here. We, here. we are all here because we love silver. In fact, all of this silver, with the exception, I think, of this piece here, and maybe one other in there, is 909 silver. This is an old sterling silver block that I made ages ago, back in 2017, and it was just something I never got around to selling, and I kind of ended up keeping it. We've got some Tyneside silver bullion, some UK silver bullion here, and really cool axe made by him. Uh, very, very cool person. Um... Let's see who else is coming into the ch into the chat. So Spanish silver says my treasure chest is not as deep or as full. The, by the way, the treasure chest itself, the box itself is from a community member called Tazzy Stacker. Uh, it's made out of really very cool Tasmanian wood and it's absolutely gorgeous. Got the little monkey there from uh, M Sagan 75. Ah, look, near at the top. This is kind of chronological order because I've just been stacking them on top of each other. 
Ace Bullion, John RMS. If you've not checked John RMS's channel out, then go and have a look. He's doing a giveaway as well at the moment, and this is one of his very first early pieces uh, with his hallmark on the bottom there as well. That's going to focus. There we go. Really cool piece. Thank you, John. Uh, we've got High Five Silver. If you don't know who High Five Silver is, go and check him out. He's very cool, very talented silver pourer indeed. The one, the only, Mr. Zeke. What more do you want than a Mr. Zeke poured piece? Awesome. So we've got a whole bunch of very pretty stuff in this box. We're just going to crack it all open here and get it all out on the table and have a good play and a rummage through. Ah, uh, look, silver bean counter. We've got the silver beans beans, the cool beans beans. Love the cool beans beans. And this is such a really nice way to say sort of, you know, thank you to all of you guys in the community out there. You don't have to be a silver pourer to get a huge and massive thank you for the, all the support you guys give. Uh, it's absolutely bonkers that there's 16,000 people now who watch the channel and uh, and see the stuff that we do. It's uh, it's pretty mind-boggling, really. Oh, here's another piece that I made. This is a, uh, it's kind of like a 3D landscape bar. It's made out of sterling silver or 90% silver, I think, I can't remember. And uh, it's really very cool. And it was made for a person out of some silver they sent me to melt, but it was just too pretty to let go and I decided to offer to buy it off the chap because I wasn't really happy with it in terms of how it looked to sell it um, and he just gave it to me for free so really <laughs> very cool indeed. Uh, we've got some fossil metals work in here as well, another UK silver pour, a really nice uh, sort of antique dragon here, absolutely awesome stuff and um, loads of other cool things as well. So how is everybody's weekend going? I'm just going to look at some of the chat now whilst I get these out of the box. Um, oh, we've got Fossil Metals himself coming into the uh, into the chat today. Here's another couple of pieces from Fossil Metals. Pot of Jam is asking, you need one of those axes. Would I be up for a trade? I'm afraid not, my friend. This is a very special box for me. This is the community stack box. So all of the pieces in here have come from uh, community members or they've been gifts, gifts from community members. And uh, consequently, I'm... These, you know, these are going to be with me until my dying day. I absolutely love all of these pieces, uh, you know, absolutely with a passion. And I, I can't see myself ever selling them. Canadian Silver Saver, quality Canadian stacker and YouTuber. Really like him. If you've not checked his channel out, go and have a look. Uh, been a little bit more quiet of late, but he's still a quality, quality chap. Really good friend as well. We've got some very, very cool looking pieces coming out here. Silver stands, skulls. These are some of the earliest pieces of poor silver I ever picked up. We've got some Ollie silver bars, pirate doubloons, a few more pieces of weaponry. By the way, if you've not seen this piece uh, when I showed it on Friday, oh my goodness, what a piece. Really absolutely stunning by Silver Mac. Absolutely incredible. Uh, we've got Silverback Stacker represented here as well, by the way. He's uh, in the chat today, and he is absolutely incredibly skilled. Look at this shadow sword. Oh, my goodness, what a piece of silver. You can see we've got quite the weaponry going at the moment. So um, who else is in the chat? Now we've got 132 people. Goodness gracious me, 132 people in the chat. This is absolutely ridiculous. I have that little pit bullion. Love pit bullion. Let us know down in the chat which of these pieces that I'm getting out on the table here are your favourites. It would be very cool to know. Uh, I am a huge fan of silver weaponry, as you may have been able to tell. We've almost got an entire armoury out on the table here. And uh, it's really very cool. Look at this. I love this Mr. Zeke thing. But there's also some very, very cool, simple pieces of silver, which are absolutely stunning from very talented members of the community out there. It's really nice to get this box out and really have a good rummage through it every now and again as well. Who have we got else coming out? We've got the Vulcan Silver Saver. This is one of my very, very first pieces that was sent to me by a community member. Silver Saver, if you don't know, is one of the most incredible people you know, on YouTube. Really very, very cool person indeed. And look at this. We've got Tomoko's Enterprises Little Tiny Tiger Heads. These are an absolute pig to pour I can imagine and they're really very cool I think they're about about seven or eight grams of silver each so really very small pieces but really talented stuff to get them and then we've got the silver vessel vessel the silver vessel ship love it and then you'll have seen as well we've got up here in the back we've got the absolutely bonkers bunker bullion bar 
which is quite a good name for it, the Bonkers Bunker Bullion Bar with the bubble bottom. The Bonkers Bunker Bullion Bubble Bottom Bar. Bet you can't say that three times quickly in a row. So there we go. And then we've got one last piece, which is kept in a little baggy because this one is a very nice piece from the man himself, Bunker Bullion, again. And it's a really lovely ripple bar. And it's one that I want to try and keep in as pristine condition as possible. There we go. Awesome, awesome stuff. 8.28 ounces of lovely fine silver. And then the box itself. So this is Taz, uh, Tasmanian Silver Stacker's box. Really, really cool stuff. It's got an internal uh, layer which can come out. And then underneath, we've got all of the COAs and everything in there as well. So really quality stuff. The box, though, is not big enough for all of the silver that we've got coming in and out. So, hey, there we go. Um, let's jump into the chat and say hello to a few people. So I can't go back and see all of the different comments that people are making. So I'll just start from, uh, from the stop here. So Matteo Mann unfortunately has to go. Uh, he's having a hot last day of summer. So yeah, last day of summer, September is flying by. How ridiculous is that? Uh, it's absolutely bonkers that we're nearly at the end of September already. Um, the metal says that last bar looked very cleanly poured. Yes, Bunker Bullion's very, very cleanly poured ripple bar. He's kind of the standard by which I almost measure myself against because his work is just so extremely perfect and he's so talented. It really, he really is. Absolutely love it. So, yeah, he is a quality, quality chap and, uh, you know, such a talented guy. Um, so, Roxilla says, I'm going to need a bigger box. Yes, I will need a bigger box at some point. I have thought about getting a box which is big enough to put that box in because ultimately that box is also a um, piece of community silver, or not silver, community work as well. So, uh, yeah, we've got, oh, we've got uh, Malik Hansen from Greenland. Fantastic. I have not had a customer from Greenland yet. If you ever wanted to buy some hand poured silver, I have a map, a world map, where I put a little pin from any country that buys from, that would be a very interesting country to put a pin in. Um, so Pot of Jam, Sunday lunch soon, so he's going to miss the drawing. Yes, if you're new to the stream, if you've just joined us, 5.30pm is when we're going to do the prize draw, uh, and we'll have a quick look through all of the entries, all 1,038 entries into this uh, prize draw. Thank you again to everybody who has entered. Um, Barbara El Navi says the he, you love the bunny killer. Kind of feel sorry for the bunnies though. I I know what you mean. It's a pretty gnarly axe, that's for sure. Isaac Young, hello from Oregon. Hello to you, my friend. Um, who else have we got? Silver Britches, backyard bullion. Uh, I missed where the hammer came from. This hammer here, I do you know? I can't remember off the top of my head. I think it was silver back stacker. I'll have to dig out the COAs and have a look. Um, but regardless, it's a very, very cool piece. I know I did a video on it as well when it arrived. And I know it's probably quite bad of me not to remember off the top of my head who sent it to me. But I think it was Silverback Stack. I can't remember. I just, I, I, off the top of my head, I don't remember, I'm afraid. Um, we've got Karina Mikado says, uh, can you show Tell the Hammer? Oh, I've just shown it to you. Uh, Pot of Jam is looking to do maybe some trades. Well, if you want to trade, then you can get in touch. Silverback Saka says he doesn't even touch the Bunker Bullion bars. He treats them like proof coins. Well, that's how I kind of treat a lot of the Bunker Bullion stuff too, is basically like proof silver for me. Uh, welcome to the stream, Robert Saunders. Uh, Budget Bullion Stacker says, at Mr. Bullion, only about four months I've got three videos up showing some of my stuff if you're interested uh we'll hopefully we'll check your channel out one day um uh, who else is in the stream we've got um watch me unboxing says pour yourself a silver treasure chest well that would be a a suitable chest to hold all of this silver that's for sure but i'm not sure it's very practical to do in that size fossil metal says hi ho is back pouring again and putting out some amazing work on instagram he really is like if you haven't checked out back um bunker bullions Instagram page. It's stunning. Don McEwen King, welcome from Scotland. Electro Pig Von Fucking Regriven. That's probably going to get me demonetized. Just buy a coffin. That way, the only 
uh, it, not only will it be very hard to overfill, but you can take it with you. Well, that's very true, but I don't think I'd want to waste all of this. I think I'd want to pass it on to people uh, within my family. Uh, Rick's Fun Vid says, awesome collections. Sean Banks says, I hope I win. Well, hopefully you entered in time and you did it all correctly. Otherwise, you've not really got much chance, I'm afraid. Black Panther, good luck to everybody. We will be doing the draw in about 10 or so minutes. I'm going to um, get the entries out in a moment. We can all have a look through, just trying to catch up with the uh, with the chat. Um, we've got John RMS saying, Chaotic Post, uh, Oh, he must be talking to somebody. Post them on Silver Forum. It's always a great place for trades. Yes, that's very true. The uh, Silver Forum is a fantastic place to do trades and meet other people who are like-minded and uh, metal-minded people. Um, Mr. Bullion there. How long have I been stacking for? I've been stacking since 2015. I'd started my YouTube channel in, what was it, July 2016, but I actually bought my first bits of silver in 2015, end of 2015, December Sherry Ward says hello. Hello to you too. Joe Maxwell needs a silver hammer. Isaac Young can't wait for the giveaway. Uh, JB uh, Clay says it's an awesome pile there. It really is, isn't it? I, I love looking at all of this silver. It's absolutely incredible. In fact, let's have another quick look and general tour of everything. We've got some MK Bar stuff there. We've got some Metals Mafia, Pit Bullion, Fossil Metals. Canadian Silver Saver with Vulcan poured silver there as well. Ollie Silver Bars in those pirate doubloons. We've got, of course, the absolutely incredible Silver Mac with that Bunny Killer Axe Silver Vessel, MK Bars. We've got Bunker Bullion. We've even got some Prospectors Golden Gems. These are not necessarily things that are community, but they've been given to me by community members. Got Tomoko's Enterprises, M Sagan 75, Silver, uh, sorry, yeah, Silver Bean Stacker. Is that, even, is that the right name? I can't remember. Cool Beans Beans, Pit Bullion, Mr. Zeke, Ollie Silver Bars, Lego Bricks, John RMS, Ace. We've got definitely uh, Silverback Stacker with that big Shadow Axe. Got Beaver Bullion. Really awesome stuff. Absolutely incredible community with all of this talent. And as you can see, like the eclectic mix of everything that's there is just really awesome. Like the, the amount of talent that's out there uh, is just unfathomable it really is and everybody's got their own unique kind of feel and look and how they do things it's it's really incredible and i absolutely love it it's fantastic um so silver bean silver backstack the silver bean counter that's right yes um confusing because you all you both sound very same sort of the same so i do apologize for that um david in the north says bunny killer axe takes first place i can't possibly say which is my favorite piece because it changes Every time I look at a new piece, I go, oh, that's my favorite, and that's my favorite, and that's my favorite, that's my favorite. But it's just so hard to choose. So I think the easiest thing is to just not choose, basically. Although I do have a penchant for silver weaponry. As you can see, we've all got an awful lot of them out there. Um, who else have we got coming in? Too Many Clumps says, which do you prefer, antiqued or cleaned silver? I like both equally. I think it suits different pieces better than others. That's what I'll say. So, uh, yeah, it's like you'll have, you know, one piece which will look really great antiques, but then, it, you know, another piece in a similar style might look actually not so great antique. So it does vary. Personally, I'm probably going to lean more towards an antique because it brings out a lot of the detail. Like with this uh, sword here, you wouldn't necessarily see all of the fine wood grain uh, detail coming out. And I think it really does complement pieces of silver very well. So it's a really unique part of silver that it can be tarnished very quickly and easily. And you can then remove the tarnish if you didn't want it to be antique. So uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of like both. I hope that answers your question. Uh, E-Gaming, welcome in my friend. Um, you're asking if you can buy the Lego. I'm sorry, none of this is for sale. None of this is for sale. This is all mine. This is going in my memory box, my treasure chest for the rest of my life. It's, you know, if, if the worst happens and uh, YouTube doesn't exist anymore, I'll always have all of this lovely silver and I just, I would never part with any of it. So definitely not for sale, I'm afraid. Um, we've now got 163 people in the stream waiting for the prize draw. So I, it's definitely a new record. Uh, previously to this, I think we hit about 80 in our streams. So we've doubled our previous best of how many people are in a live stream. And I don't do live streams very often. It's quite weird doing a live stream, I have to say, because um, 
ostensibly you're sitting here talking to yourself, but you're not because there's 163 people, 163 people sitting there watching me ramble on. So yeah, it's, um, it's a very weird thing to sit in my kitchen at the, at the table, basically talking to myself. So yeah, right. We're nearly there for 5.30 when we're going to do some of the live drawing. So for those of you who are new to the stream or perhaps you missed out on the giveaway, these are the prizes. So these are two pieces of poor silver which I've made, which we are giving away to celebrate 15,000 subscribers. Now, since we did that uh, upload where we talked and we said we'd hit 15,000 subscribers, we've gained another 1,000. In fact, live count right now is something like 16,050. So a bonkers amount of subscribers coming in over the last month. Um, and that's not necessarily... We got like a couple of hundred boost from announcing we're giving doing a giveaway, as you'll always get. You know, people want to come in and just get some free stuff. But, um, you know, we've really picked up on some of the videos that we've had recently and lots of people have uh, joined the channel which is really very cool indeed. So these are the two prizes uh, we've got, if we just stack them on top of each other like this, we've got a 9.9 .9 ounce Ripple Bar, giant Kit Kat Bar, 15,000 subscriber giveaway September 2019 and a 6.6 .6 ounce uh, Ripple Bar as well. And both of these have been laser etched by the Edinburgh Assay Office. Now for those of you who've been watching deep into the stream, we've got a very cool potential video to show you in maybe a couple of months time. We're in talks with the Edinburgh Assay Office to find out a lot more in depth about their laser hole marking. That's all I'm going to say right now, uh, but you guys will know that I've if you've followed the channel for a while, I do like going up to the Edinburgh Assay Office, and that's all I'm going to say right now. So if you're interested in finding out more about laser hole marking, then let us know in the future. Now, let's have a very brief look through the entrance. So thank you for joining if you did. Um, thank you for the comment if you did. It very quickly got out of control, I have to say. Uh, we originally wanted to try and reply to every single comment that was put on this video, uh, the entry video, but it soon very quickly became apparent that wasn't going to be practical. Um, so we printed out all of the entries here with all of your comments here. Thank you to everybody for your kind words. Lots of people saying really nice things about the channel and everything that we're doing here. So I really do appreciate that. Now we've gone through all of the comments and we've basically uh, gone through and checked every single one. There's always going to be a margin of error. Hopefully we've recorded everybody. If of course we draw a person and we see that they're duplicated, if they're, it's, it's all alphabetical, so you can all, all sort of have a look and see if your name is on here. Uh, there are 18 pages though, so uh, I won't put the pages on for particularly long, but if you are particularly worried about your entries not being on there, uh, then let us know, get in touch. But if the winner somehow we've missed a duplicate, then of course we'll redraw. Also, if the comment of the entry doesn't say a particular piece was their favorite or a particular piece that they uh, liked the most in that video, it won't qualify. And I've taken a few entries out. In fact, there were over 50 entries of people who were literally just commenting on the video saying, I want to win or something. And if you don't, I, you know, if you don't have the time or inclination to uh, basically, you know, look at the rules, listen to the video, follow the rules, and it wasn't very complicated, then uh, you, you don't really, you know, you shouldn't enter the competition. It's not fair to everybody else. So hopefully everybody uh, who has entered properly should be recorded on here. Uh, if you don't see your name initially, please don't worry. Uh, you know, there are 1,038 here and uh, I'm you know, obviously flicking through them relatively quickly. So we've done, I think, a pretty good job at copying everything out. We used a, uh, a proper comment scraper rather than doing any kind of manual copy and pasting. Uh, and then we just went through everything to sort of verify it and make sure it was all, um, you know, all above board, basically. So hopefully we're all covered and everybody is here. Now, I appreciate as well that um, there's only two winners here and there's 1,038 entries. Um, you know, with all the will in the world, we, we would love to, to do more. And we uh, perhaps will think about a, uh, a better way to do things at the next milestone. And the next milestone that I want to celebrate and do a uh, kind of a, a giveaway 
uh, some more inclusive giveaway is 20,000. So if anybody's got any suggestions um, on how to do a giveaway like this, I mean, it's getting to a point where we, you know, when you do a thousand subscriber giveaway and you've got maybe a hundred entries uh, and you do for five prizes, everybody's got a one in 20 chance of winning a prize. But when you get, um, you know, when you get to a thousand entries, uh, even if you had sort of five, six, seven, eight prizes, it's still, you know, one in, one in 150, one in 200 to win something. So it's not always easy and practical to do that. And I uh, I just want to say, sorry, I suppose, to uh, to the, the fact that you've basically got a one in 518 chance of, or 519 chance, sorry, of winning. So it is what it is. Hopefully, though, the new owners of the big, giant, chunky Kit Kat bar and its little brother will be very happy with them. Um, of course, what we're going to do immediately after this video is go onto that entry video and reply to that comment and, uh, and hopefully that person will get in touch. What I will do today is draw two backup winners. Um, those two backup winners will basically go in preference order. So we'll draw the grand prize winner, we'll draw second place winner, we'll draw backup number one, back uh, the entries there. Uh, I can't remember what I was saying. Basically, if we, we're gonna draw a couple of backup ent entrants and if um, basically nobody picks up their prize then we'll bump everybody up is the, uh, the general idea. So I think we'll just go through the rest of these for a moment, wait for a few more people to uh, jump back into the stream and then we can get cracking with actually drawing the numbers. I think everything should be back up online. I'm looking at my PC now as well as the phone and everything should be all all right. Hopefully people will start filtering back in. We've got 173 people coming in. I know we lost 50. We were over 200 at one point, 200 entrants into the prize draw, which is absolutely mind boggling. So 182. I want to just wait a few minutes uh, before we do the draw, just in case there's any uh, people who are lagging still. If, if anyone really is lagging, just type one in the chat. If it's not working very well or whatever, just type one in the chat and let us know. Um, if it's all fine for you and nothing's wrong and it's all looking good, clear, no horrible things, just hit two. It's got a few people saying one few people saying two. If it, perhaps it's not so good for you right now, just hit the refresh button and refresh the whole page. Hopefully it should be. I mean, look, there's loads of people writing two now, so I think we're pretty good to go. A few people with still ones. If if it's still a bit jerky or, or slow for you guys, then just refresh your page and um, that's basically that's tech support. Back your bullying tech support for you. I can't say much more than that, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so Hopefully all will be okay in the end. JHY says three. I don't know quite uh, what number three is. Anyway, here we go. So um, I think we're nearly there. We're nearly at the point, guys and girls, to draw some silver winners. See who is going to win these bars. Now, the question is, which one do we draw first? Let us know down in the chat which one you want to see. I think we've got to do second place. I think it's second place first. <laughs> Silverpack Stack says, enter your credit card details for smoother streaming experiences, I know. That's happened once before for me on, uh, on a live stream on YouTube. It's really weird. And I don't think it's my Wi-Fi because the Wi-Fi is still running um, and all, all hunky-dory. It didn't drop out or anything, so I don't know. But um, that's life, isn't it? We live in such a technologically challenged world that uh, basically you know one small mess up and things can just uh, just go wrong can't they and it just it messes everything out so lots of people are asking for second place first I think that is the right way to go so here we have random.org on the tablet and we are going to draw the number so all I have to do is literally click generate so um, you know, we need a drum roll. We do need a drum roll. Someone is right. Let's do a very quick drum roll. That's not really a very good drum roll. I'm very, very sorry. So here we go. Number two, the winner of the second place prize is 
number 776. So number 776 is the winner of this very, very cool little Kit Kat bar. So let's find who is 776, and I can see it here now. In fact, I don't want to mess up the order of these pages, so let's do that. 776 is Red Dead Wild Bill. My favorite piece is the Buddha, though, as it was a close call with the Aztec skull. Great work and good luck with your next 15K. Thank you, Red, Wi Red Dead Wild Bill. You are very, very generous with your kind words. We will make a little note on there that you are second. Just about a note anyway. So congratulations to Red Dead Wild Bill. I'll drop you a note on your comment in that original video and uh, you can get in touch. Um, I'll write my email address down in a moment, but I'll, I'll also get in touch with you, so don't worry. Now, the moment that everybody... In fact, no, we should draw, we should draw the, uh, the backup winners after the main winner. Otherwise, if your name was to come up as a backup winner, it would be a little bit of bad karma as you might not get drawn again. So here we go. Number one, this is the prize. Here we go, 9.9 .9 ounces of hand-poured silver, laser etched by the Edinburgh Assay Office, coming to a lucky winner. And that lucky winner is going to be, are we ready? Another imaginary drum roll. It is going to 726. 726, the 700s are very popular. Is that on the same page? It is on the same page. What are the odds on the same page? 726 is Papa Rich, bravo. The channel is Grow Fast Bro, typical internet speak, and he liked the silver bar. So he all qualifies. Papa Rich, congratulations. You are the grand prize winner. Thank you to everybody for all of your comments and your absolutely incredible support over this last couple of years doing this. It's a bonkers thing that we're doing here. Quitting my day job to be a silver pourer is a very <coughs> interesting experience. Sorry, not even choking up, I'm just getting a cough. Uh, it's a very interesting experience in life and um, it's one which uh, is not possible without all of you. Now, we are going to draw two other backup winners and um, you know, now that I come to think of it, I'm going to send the backup winners a little consolation prize. So. Um, get in touch if you're one of the consolation winners and we'll work something out. I'm going to send you something because uh, it's, it's worthwhile third and, place, third and fourth places here. So third place and first backup winner is 1004, number 1004. So we're up on to possibly the last page, no, second to last page. And number 1004 is... Valknut Concepts. I'm going to have to go Kit Kat. It's got very timeless look to it. It's just classy. And then the comment scraper didn't take the smiley face or whatever you put. So uh, Valknut Concepts, you are our first backup winner. And um, BK1. And I will send you something, little, a little sort of token thank you. So if you are uh, available, please get in touch. I'll put all of the information, by the way, of how to get in touch down in the uh, description of this video. And I'll also probably uh, strip out these actual results parts and put them in a separate video to upload so people can actually uh, see that in its entirety on its own rather than having to watch the entire stream. Second backup and fourth place is going to be going to number 287. Number 287 is going to be on this page, and number 287 is Drago Zero, or Zero, and he says, I like the star at first, but when I saw the custom engraving on the sides of the bars, they're definitely the best pieces. Congratulations on the growth. Well, thank you very much, my friend. Dra uh, Drago Zero, Zero? How would we pronounce that? Is it like an X that's pronounced like a Z? I don't know. Anyway, thank you to you. You are second place back up. Second BK, 
and uh, we will be in touch with all of you via the YouTube comment section on that original giveaway video. I will just drop you all uh, my email address as well. I'll write it down on this piece of paper here, and then you can get in touch if you're one of the winners. I don't know if we've got any of the winners actually in the live stream at the moment, um, but a huge congratulations to all of them. Thank you uh, to you all for um, getting, in, you know, getting involved with this. It's really very cool. My email address is byb at backyardbullion.com. So get in touch and claim your prizes. And if you're one of the backup people, then get in touch and we'll send you out a little something. That's the email address to get in touch with us on. Hopefully you can all decipher my writing. It's all down in the description or you can just head on over to the website and hit the contact me page there. It's all over there. So congratulations to everybody who's been involved and a huge thank you to everybody who's uh, joined the channel recently. It really is appreciated. And I hope that uh, if we all, uh, you know, if you all like this channel, even if you've just joined for the uh, potential chance of some free silver, then, um, you know, fine. You, you can uh, see a couple of people just getting deleted straight away from some of the mods. Um, but, you know, thank you for joining if you did. If you want to stick around and watch some of the content we make, then please feel free. You know, we've got some cool videos lined up for the rest of, uh, of the month, and it's gonna be a busy couple of weeks in the near future as well. So uh, now we can see who's real, who's a real fan of the Backyard Bullion channel, because there inevitably will be some people who will unsub, who will already see the stream drop down from 140, uh, 100, well, over 200 to 140, um, which is fine, like, you know, that's part of life, isn't it? But thank you to everybody who's sticking by here. Now, the plan for the rest of the stream is to basically sit here and have a chat with you good fine wonderful folk uh, so if you've got any questions for me for the backyard bullion channel then please feel free to ask them and uh, and let us know uh, what you would like to know about anything questions you've got for us if we can answer if it's not too personal then let us know and we can uh, answer your questions if you put the at symbol and then my name it highlights the comments so I'll see it better so if you've got a question put at backyard bullion and go from there um, Budget Bullion Stacker says that he went unsub. He was sub before the giveaway. Thank you. Well, you know, it's one of those things, isn't it? When you when you do a giveaway and you ask for subscribers, it's kind of a double-edged sword because you're going to get some people who are just going to join for no uh, no reason other than to try and win some free silver. But some of them will stick by and some of them will enjoy the channel for a couple of weeks, months, maybe years to come. And that's fine. You know, I don't mind. Um, so, yeah. If you want to unsubscribe, then be my guest. I, you know, you're not going to be missed if you're just here for some free silver, basically. So, um, yeah, anyway, who's got some questions for me? Put the at symbol if you've got a question. Uh, Spanish Silver says he's enjoying being a moderator, never done it before. I want to say a huge thank you, actually, to the moderators. Thank you to everybody who's been uh, doing some help here in the moderators, because there are a few people who will come in and they'll just be uh, trolls for no reason. So... Um, Slemkey98 says, any updates on the group order? Yes, there is an update on the group order. It will be coming. Trust me, it will be coming. I hope it's going to come because otherwise we're in for a very interesting September, October. Um, in theory, it should be leaving Estonia next week. So hopefully in a couple of weeks' time, we'll have a big, chunky unboxing to share with all of you guys. Uh, Karina Mercado says, love your treasure trove, by the way, and great giveaway. You're welcome. Thank you very much. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, who else have we got now? We've got Evia Reasonable saying R21K. Road to 21K? I don't know why 21K over 20K. Let's get to 20K first. That's the next, um, next, that's the next target. E-Gaming is saying, would I ever do silver coin trades? Um, I possibly would, but I, to be honest, it's got to a point now where, you know, I've got a whole bunch of silver coins, a whole bunch of different um, things which I've collected, but... Um, I don't really feel like I'm a collector of silver coins anymore. It's more around the kind of Queen's Beast sides of things. And yeah, I don't think there's anything I'm targeting that I can't get my hand on. So only if it's something really interesting that I hadn't seen, maybe that I wanted to feature on the channel, then maybe I would. Um, uh, Drago's, oh, Drago Zero just saw that you were drawn for the backup. Yes, you were. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for joining in. Drop me an email at Drago Zero and we'll get in touch and we'll link up and we'll send you a little thank you for participating. 
Uh, I can't say what it's going to be yet, but we'll work something out and put a little uh, gift box re uh, ready for you. Um, Bill says, what's my opinion on tarnished modern day 999 silver coins? I think if it's a collector coin, then it's ready for the melting furnace, basically, if it's all tarnished up. So, uh, yeah, that's my thoughts on that. John RMS, thank you for helping out as a moderator as well. Talking Bullion has a question, if the chat wasn't stopped moving. Um, can I review the winners for those who came in late? Yes, of course I can. So for those who did come in late, uh, the all of the entries are here. And I will put a little video up um, after this at some point, perhaps even tomorrow. I haven't, I've haven't. i got uh, a few other things to do this evening before finishing up. Um, but basically, we've got two winners on the, it's on the same page here. So first place went to Papa Rich. And he is the proud new owner of this 9.9 .9 ounce Kit Kat bar. And second place went to Red Dead Wild Bill. And he will be the proud owner of the 6.6. .6. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Those are um, the winners there. As I said, I will put up a separate little video uh, with all of the draws live on there so you can see them again at your leisure. Um, so that's Torvin Kev. Let's go back up. Gosh, there's so much in the chat. I can't keep up with all of you. Um, right. I'm just trying to find out where I was. It was Talking Bullion, wasn't it? Uh, Mark Jones says, thoughts on Glint going into administration? You don't hold it if you don't own it. That's in fact going to be a topic for Wednesday's video this coming week, Mark, so I'll leave that for there. But you are completely right. If you don't hold it, you don't own it. For those who don't know, Glint was a, um, a sort of gold currency that was basically usable in the real world, but it uh, it fell through. Um, EN says, at BYB, if a beginner wanted to get started on learning how to pour your own silver, any tips I can share? Yes, watch lots of people pouring silver on YouTube. That's how I started. That's how a lot of other people started. Monkey see, monkey do is the nuts and bolts of it there. Andre G says, what are my plans for a no-deal Brexit? Well, uh, God knows is the only answer to that, really. Um, you know, we are planning a certain amount to get a certain amount of silver into the country before that potentially happens, but ultimately it's uh, anybody's guess as to what is going to happen. Um, so J, J. B. Clay says, so the sh show the stash one time and slowly you want a little tour of the stash. All right, we'll give you a tour of the stash. Silver Britches says, do I ship to the US? Yes, I do. The majority of my stuff actually goes to the US. It's uh, quite surprising how much actually gets out there. Um, Silver Blackjack Brew says, is it too late to join the group order? It probably is, my friend, if I'm being honest. Um, we've basically closed it this evening, so I'm afraid not. Um, JHY says, how long have I been pouring silver? Since July 2016, my friend. Mr. Muller says, any news on new bars? We've got a few new things in the pipeline. Uh, we will be sharing some very cool uh, stuff coming up in the next couple of weeks. So that's basically all I'm going to say on that. But we've got always, always stuff in the pipeline to try and work on for the future. Um, who is here? We've got uh, drone, drone, Droneography. That's kind of a, I think that's basically what I do. I drone on at the camera. So Droneography said, only started a few months ago enjoying your vids. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Eddie Fraser says, he'll stick around. He loves my content. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, Budget Bullion Stacker is finally in the triple digits on subscribers. Excellent. Well done. Um, Archie Gray says, I should actually sell those Kit Kat bars. You quite like one, the ones I've given away. Well, I have sold them and I do sell them. If you are interested, then you can get in touch and let me know. Um, eGaming says he likes being a mod, it's the least he could do to help. Well, thank you. And once again, thank you to all of the moderators. It's really very, very generous of you guys to give up some of your time and have a look through and filter out those horrible little uh, trolls. Um, Grongler says hammered one ounce BYB bars. The hammered bars, by the way, are an absolute pig to make. They take so long and um, they're also quite annoying to the neighbours, I can imagine, as well. So the thought of doing 25 of the Silver Forum round ones are going to be interesting, but we have got some other random little ones. These two have just sold, unfortunately, today, um, so they're not available, but they are very, very cool. And I'm numbering all of my hammered series pieces. So, um, yeah, I'm sure there will be some more hammered stuff in the future. I just don't know when exactly. 
Um, how uh, watch me unboxing says how did you learn to melt down and mold? Well, I buy graphite molds, so I don't do the molds, and I just copy people on YouTube. Basically, I watched people doing what they were doing and um, basically copied it. That's essentially what I'm doing. Uh, Johnny Patton says, I just wanted to say congratulations on busting 16,000 wide open. You're welcome. I can't believe we've got 16,000. It's pretty bonkers, isn't it? Um, so we then got other people talking. Bully says, um, oh, I've already gone there. So we are, we are back down live now. Uh, Gabs V says, do I ship to Canada? Yes, I ship to Canada. Um, in fact, there's a few people asking who were the winners. So what we're going to do is let's make a bit of space here and write down the two winners' names so that people, if they are new in and maybe the winners join later on in the stream, they'll see their name and they'll get all excited. So first place or grand prize. Papa Rich and second place is Red Dead Wild Bill. So there you go, those are the two winners. Uh, we've got two backup people as well. I'll have a look at those and sort all those out at another time. But um, yeah, those are the two winners that have joined in. So uh, really very gracious for everybody who joined in. Sorry that. We only have two prizes for 1,038 entries, but um, yeah, it is what it is. So uh, who else we've got? So um, Jay Bullionaire is asking, are, or am I going to be pouring more gold bars anytime soon? I'd love to, my friend, but it's just not worth the risk at the moment with the potential contamination that's going on. Maybe at some point in the future when I've got um, two separate workshops, two separate work areas that we can have, the guaranteed lack of dis, uh, you know, cross contamination for assaying that would be uh, possible. Um, Silver back Jack Brew says he bought on Friday. I presume this is a group order. Hopefully it will get sorted, my friend. That's um, basically it. Five Huggy, Five Huggy is in. Welcome, uh, my friend. He is one of the proud new owners of the Kilo Bar Tsunami. So a huge thank you to him for joining in. Um, we're going to be on, by the way, guys, for at least another half an hour or so, I think. Mrs. Backyard Bullion is away today, so I have the house to myself, other than uh, my dog Pickle in the background who's sleeping on the sofa. But we're going to be here for another half an hour shooting the breeze. If you guys have got a question that you want to ask me about the Backyard Bullion, about pouring silver, about coins, about whatever you want, then just let us know uh, down in the chat. I'll hopefully get in touch uh, or, or reply through the chat here. If um, you highlight it by putting at Backyard Bullion, then it actually puts it in uh, a big orange colour for me so I can see it when you ask. Otherwise, it's quite difficult to see. So there's quite a lot of comments that come through. Um, Hawaii Volcano Squad says, Silver Eagles or Queen's Beast coins, which do I prefer better? I'm going to have to say Queen's Beast every time, my friend. Queen's Beast are the superior piece or the superior coin in the world right now. That's my opinion. Uh, Silverback Stack says, where did I get the mould for that kilo cube? The thing is a beast. It is a beast. It was made by a company in the UK who actually builds the furnaces that we have and use. And they also do a bit of graphite moulding. And um, that was where we got it from. Really quality, very thick walled as well. So it's very easy to use. And it's not going to bust open and spill a kilo of silver everywhere, which would not be good. Um, so jumping down the chat a little bit, uh, we've got... Uh, who else have we got? We've got Watch Me Unboxing says, am I into vintage bars at all? I do have a few vintage bars, not necessarily a large amount um, of them, but I do have a few, yes. I do like them, and if I can find them at a good price, it's always about the price. If you can get them at a good price, then that's very cool. Um, Bill says, where, will, where and how will I be buying silver after Brexit? The honest answer is I have no clue at all, uh, is the complete honest answer. Uh, E-gaming is saying it would be good if I could just write all of the countries I ship to, as a lot of people are asking about it. I ship worldwide, my friend. No country is a barrier in my eyes. Anybody in the world can get a piece of backyard bullion silver. And, uh, and I do need to, I know I do, and I will at some point get a shipping page up on my website which summarises all of that. Um, who else? We've got some people writing in the comments. Cadmium Green, welcome. Uh, he says, congratulations again, and do I have an estimated timeline on the three ounce rounds? Production has started on them, my friend. 
We are aiming for November, maybe the second week of November. We haven't got a firm date yet, but that's the target. Uh, and that will be for the five ounce rounds as well. Um, five Huggy Five Huggy says, this is just my own opinion, I think his reputation to date will keep his business safe. Well, I don't know what that's quite referring to, but hopefully, yes, we speak for ourselves in terms of our reputation. Papa Rich, you're in the chat. Papa Rich, you won. You are the winner of this. This is yours. Drop me an email, Papa Rich, and we'll link up and we'll work out how to get everything uh, linked up for you and sent out to you. Uh, this is yours. This is your bar. Look at it. Very lucky to you. So thank you for joining and thank you for your very kind comment. Just catching up with the chat here, guys. Sorry about this. There we go. That's the that's the proud winner. Hope he's is he still in the chat? I don't know. Papa Rich, if you're still in the chat, say hello. And tell everybody what you think of your new bar. That would be very cool. Uh, Silver Snyder's asking if is any of that stuff for sale? No, this is all my very, very special pieces of silver that I've got from community members. I will never sell any of this. Uh, it's all mine and I will never be getting rid of it. I absolutely love it. Um Oh, okay, yeah, fuck on you. Yeah, it's uh, after Brexit. I mean, gosh knows who's gonna, who's gonna win. It's absolutely uh, bonkers. Nobody knows. That's the ultimate side of things. Uh, Gabs V saying, is it possible to pour in four nine silver bar? Of course, it's possible to pour in four nine silver bar. You just have to have four nine silver. Very interestingly, the silver shot that I get from the um, European Mint when it goes up to the Edinburgh office, I've had, uh, well, I haven't had a copy of my report, but I've seen the results when I went up there. Uh, the uh, the head of the assay office was very kind to show me uh, some of the actual physical results of the assay test on my silver, and it was 9997.7. Uh, so it's very pure, very close to 49 silver, so really very cool indeed. Uh, Mark Jones says he loves those larger laser cut hallmarks. They are very cool, aren't they? Absolutely loving this. And just a reminder to anybody who's been watching the stream, we dropped a hint earlier that at some point, hopefully in the next couple of months, we will be exploring the laser hallmark some more and talking with the Edinburgh Assay Office about it and uh, going through all of that. So that's definitely something to look forward to. Um, Jim Wilde asks, how much silver is lost by the laser etch hallmark? Well, a negligible amount, I think, but there is definitely some because it's, uh, you know, it's, it's textured. You can feel the gap and the depth of it. So uh, we'll see. And that's part of what we're going to be asking when we go up there. Um, so... Tov, Tov SV says, I'm interested in pouring. How should I get started? Do I have any beginner's advice? Again, my only beginner's advice is to just try and absorb as much information as you can from people on YouTube. Watch a load of people doing it. Start with Bunker Bullion, I did. He's fantastic. Um, so, Backyard Bullion uh, of Ginger8383 says, How do I feel during post office trips? I find it awkward trading cigars. I can imagine you don't like getting labeled as that silver, silver guy by everybody in the queue. I have an account with my local post office, so I don't even queue anymore. I just go and drop things in. My local post office is fantastic, so that's not really an, if, an issue for me now. Paul Nagel says, how long to melt and what temperature, what type of equipment do I have? In fact, I can show you. So look, this is how hardcore of a silver pourer I am. I'm using my furnace as a tripod. Um, these furnaces get up to about 1,000 and 1,100 degrees, basically just over 1,100 degrees. Silver will melt at 986, but you want to pour it roughly around 1050 minimum, I'd say, to get it nice and um, basically liquid. And um, I don't know what the quite word is. It, it, it will flow easily into the mold and everything. That's the general idea for it. Um, yeah, so there's a few people just to hide comments from. You just jump in and uh, try and hijack things. Um, next question is, eGaming says, would I ever make something for spot price or just over? Well, you've got to look at it from this point of view, um, eGaming. You know, it takes a lot of time, resources, energy, and cost. The graphite crucibles uh, cost money. The kiln cost money. The furnace cost money to uh, operate. The molds cost money. The hallmarking cost money. Uh, my time. You know, this, I do this for a living. It's my, it's my job now. So, um, you know, for charity stuff and things, of course, we, we do that and we do do charity work and uh, charity pours and things like that but um, ultimately I'm a firm believer in that people should get paid for what they for what they do and the talent that they have and the work that they do so um, yeah maybe maybe but maybe not um, who else is in we've got Sam 
Sam Spiller asking to talk about crypto. This is a silver channel. We've got silver on the table. We're not going to talk about cryptocurrencies. Don't like cryptos. I like silver. That's enough about cryptos. Moving on. Um, Barbara L. Nabi asks, how did I get those lovely ripples on Tsunami? The bars with ripples are your favourite. Well, the honest answer is it's a bit of trial and error. Um, you know, obviously you need to tap it as the silver's cooling. Uh, but if you tap it too vigorously, then maybe things go wrong. If you tap it too lightly, then the ripples don't form. So it's it's just trial and error and experience and how you kind of do the touch um, is down to each individual person and whether or not you even do touches. You know, you see a lot of the silver on this table here. It won't have ripples. It'll have maybe a few tiny little ripples and things. But ultimately, it's down to each individual person about how they want to do it. Having a um, uh, having like a blowtorch on the silver is important. But, uh, you know, that's just the way it goes. Sam Spiller, no, I'm not, I'm not mad at you. I'm just saying this is a silver channel and uh, we're talking about lovely silver. I don't like cryptocurrencies. I think they're a little bit of a lottery. So um, that's my thoughts on it. Um, who else is in? Big Ox, how do you win? Bit late, I'm afraid. You should have entered in the original entry video. We've already done the draw. The grand prize winner, hidden away here, was Papa Rich in second place, Red Dead Wild Bill. So very cool. To, uh, to have those very cool pieces going off to those people at some point in the near future. Um, draw is finished. Yes, it is. Jim Wilde, you're right. How did I learn to pour melt metals? Uh, that was all from YouTube. All from YouTube. It's amazing what you can learn from YouTube these days. And uh, it really is quite staggering. So, yeah. Mr. Bullion there, very great question, says... Um, what is your main purpose for stacking silver? Personally, it's about wealth preservation and protection. And, you know, you've got if you've got a certain amount of cash, fiat, wealth right now that's not being used and uh, perhaps you want to keep it for 20, 30, 40 years, as we have, then I can't see a better object than putting some money into silver. I think it should be a part of a bigger picture, though. And... Um, yeah, that's that's the nuts and bolts of it. Is to keep the money, to save the money, and uh, and have it as a physical asset for the future. And in fact, the video that we're going to do on uh, Wednesday is all going to be about holding and owning because there's a big company that's gone bust this week called Glint, which was all about hold, uh, you know, physical backed gold uh, kind of electro currency, I suppose, not cryptocurrency, but um, yeah. So it's like, you know, it's it's really interesting about that whole do you do you own it if you don't hold it and uh, i personally believe you have to have to have to hold it if you want to own it and that's the other thing about the future if you've got this physical silver in hand it's going to be yours so that's really important and bill says what's my opinion on silver crew grounds personally i love them but i seem to have they seem to have a bad press they talk of milk spots milk spots but mine are fine i've got a few milk spots on some of mine i think they're fine if you can get them at a good price uh, to have a bit of a diversification but ultimately, I think they're a little bit of a... They're not the gold ones. They're a bit of a fad. And uh, whether or not they'll be uh, great into the future, I don't know. Uh, Clan Killer asks, what company made the furnace? It's called Technical Supermarket. If you just Google Technical Supermarket, I'm sure you can find them. Um, so, yeah. Budget Bullion Stacker says, YouTube is your go-to place to learn how to do just about anything. Honestly, it saved me a lot of money over the years. Yeah, me too. I mean, even things like cooking. If you want a recipe for something, there's going to be a video on it. If you want to learn about some stuff in the garden, how to get rid of pests in the garden, uh, you know, it, anything and everything can be learned from YouTube. Um, yeah, yeah, basically. Um, who else is in? SJ Mixed Adventure says, there are over 100 people in the chat. Hard to keep up with questions to bring, your, yes, to bring your action uh, to your question, do this at Backyard Bullion. Yes, that's right. If you've got a question for me, put it in the at symbol and then my name. Uh, that is the best way to do it. And um, you'll be able to get that question highlighted. Um, Electro Pig Von... Oh, for your name again, it's going to get me demonetized. Have I seen those new John Wick Silver rounds yet? Seen pictures of them. Haven't picked up any in uh, in the flesh. Hopefully at some point we will. I think, they're, again, they're a bit of a fad. If they're going to be popular into the future they could be but ultimately it's a it's an unknown quantity they're new um so yeah maybe maybe not tall thin kev says when's the next 50p or two pound coin hunt got a full bag of sherlock's last time good for you my friend we don't know is the honest answer we're just quite chock a block with uh work generally at the moment and uh, it's very difficult to find time to sit down and do those we will hopefully be doing one at some point in the future though 
um, possibly in October, but we don't know, but hopefully at some point. Um, who else is in? Paul Nagel has, someone has asked if you've ever come across fake silver. I have seen a few fake silver coins in my time, yes, but um, not a great deal in terms of anything like serious from dealers. It's always been like, you know, random stuff from eBay, basically, that I've seen come through, which are fake. Um, it's quite easy to spot them if you know what you're looking for and you've been around a lot of silver before, you can really see. You can even tell, uh, you know, if, if you get a silver bar and it looks kind of like one of these two here, uh, it'll look very different to 909 silver. For one, you can see that these have faded quite considerably in their color and their sheen. It's because it's sterling silver, it's 925 silver. And you can see on the uh, bar on the right here that sterling silver has a very different way of cooling to pure silver. It's very much different. So um, yeah, in that sense, it's uh, quite easy to spot fakes when you can find them. But um, if you are brand new to silver, it's very difficult to know exactly what to look for. Um, Karina Mercado says, got to go over on great stream. Look forward to doing business with you in the future. Thank you, my friend. That's very kind of you. Um, Mark Jones, any thoughts on the Royal Mint soon to be offering a gold ETF? Why sell physical gold when you can sell the same gold as paper promised several times over? Well, I don't really want to get into too much detail on that now, Mark. I will be talking a little bit about that in next Wednesday's video. Very interesting topic indeed. Uh, Shelley Scarborough says, he lo you love my accent and my videos. Well, thank you. It's just a British accent. It's a good old fashioned British accent. Who doesn't love that? Um, Mr. Bullion there says the main reason for him is to help build up savings. I have more money in bullion than you do in your bank. I think it's all a matter of perspective as well. Like, you know, you need to have a good diverse portfolio. But yes, if you have spending habits, then curb them by putting the money into something that's got a physical wealth. That's really important. I think that's very cool. Nate Sandoval says, do I like the Queen's Beasts, the new Queen's Beasts? You mean the bodybuilder body builder of Mortimer? Yes, I love the bodybuilder of Mortimer. And hopefully as soon as I get one, we'll be showing it on the channel and talking about it. It's a very cool piece indeed. Um, so who else is in? Restful Rec Cat says, bit of a different question. What was my main reason to start on YouTube? Well, inspiration, I guess, is the only thing to say. Um, you know, if you want to start up a random new hobby like pouring silver, uh, you can't necessarily go and talk to everybody about it that you know. You can't go and say to all your mates down the pub, oh yeah, I got a bunch of silver and I melted it and made some bars today. Um, so I just thought, ah, well, what better place than to put it on YouTube? And so I did, and I saw that there were a few other people doing it, like Hi-Ho Silver and Mr. Zeke and Losing Louie and others, and that was the start of that, really, and I just kind of kept on doing it, basically. So, yeah, that's basically the answer to that question. Um, Sam Spiller says, where do I get my raw silver for my pouring? From the European Mint in Estonia. They ship it over to the UK for us. Uh, Barbara El Navi says, Tsunami is, your, is the favourite bar. I'm sure Five Huggy would agree. It's my one of my favourites as well. Um, Tall Thin Kev says, do I have a sand dump over my workspace? No, I don't have a sand dump, but I do have a fire blanket uh, in case we need that. But also uh, often we'll have a big pot of water that I use for quenching. And if that uh, ever was needed to be called into action, then uh, it would hopefully do the job just fine. Um, Jay B. Clay says, everyone loves British accents. Uh, us Americans talk like cavemen by comparison. Oh, I do like a good American accent, though. There's nothing quite like a Southern American accent, and I'm not gonna do an impersonation here because that would be horribly uh, inappropriate, but I do like the American accent. Uh, Hawaii Volcano Squad says, as long as there aren't uh, pontificating to Americans about our Second Amendment freedoms on cable, the Brit accents are okay. Well, you know, we've got different views of the world and the different way that we live our lives on the different side of the Atlantic. So we're all having fun, all enjoying life, I'm sure. Jim Wilde says, you're thinking of cost average buying quarter ounce gold sovereigns, uh, e.g. one per month, worth it in the UK from a bullion dealer. Well, it depends on the reasons why, Jim. If you are looking to preserve some wealth for the future, then, you know, doing it every couple of months is great. You will protect yourself from fluctuations in prices. But if things go down considerably, you might not be able to, um, you know, take advantage of lower prices. And likewise, if things go up, considerably then you will be at the whims of those prices so I don't know it's it's difficult um, 
to say really as long as you're stacking for the right reason and you're enjoying it then uh you know that's that's the most important thing michael Giels says what type of job did i have before this and at what point did i decide to go fully on bullion and youtube well i uh won't go into too much detail to protect my um anonymity but i was basically i worked in business as a business manager uh, i would go into businesses and help businesses with how they run and uh, running efficiently and effectively um, you know, dealing with anything and everything from personnel to just, you know, project management, things like that. So that was my life before and I decided to go and quit that. Uh, well, I actually had quit a kind of day job in that sense a while before I got started in silver, but I was consulting for myself and working with lots of small businesses and had some extra time on my hand. This was the thing that filled a lot of those extra pieces of time and eventually it just grew and grew and grew and I put more effort and energy into it loved it loved it loved it and here we are so that is basically you know the nature of the beast you know you do something you love and you love something you do it's just gonna happen it's gonna you know hopefully it'll push it through um can you marble silver and gold together uh, that would look very pretty pure thoughts asks I'm sure you can um it would be very difficult to do actively as you go through. I'm sure it would be much better in sort of a, you know, like a ring. You can get a multi, multi-metal ring or a round with a gold center and a silver outlay. I don't know, but there's definitely ways that you would. Otherwise, if you just pour two molten metals into one pot, it will just come out as an alloy and not a very good alloy as well. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, five Huggies just highlighting another question. Uh, Grong the Griffo, uh, BYB liver of sulfate is the only way to tone silver. Where can you buy it? You can buy it from Amazon, eBay. It's really very easy. You can actually um, tone silver with eggs. It's the sulfur uh, that ultimately does this. And if you've got a bunch of eggs, if you hard boil the eggs, you put your piece of silver in a freezer bag or something, an airtight bag with a bunch of the eggs and leave it for a couple of hours, it will do the same thing as liver of sulfur. Um, I have read. I've never tried that, but that is ultimately possible too. But other, other than that, it's not a control, control substance or anything silly like that. You can buy it off Amazon, eBay, everywhere. So uh, easy easy enough to do. Um, J.B. Clay says, what's it called when gold and silver form together naturally? I can't remember what they call it. Well, it's I don't know if they form together naturally. I mean, suppose naturally if you're mining it and it comes out, it'll just be... Um, uh, an ingot? No, ingot's what you make from it. It'll be, um, I don't know, somebody will probably tell us in the comment section, but um, yeah, I, I don't know is the honest answer. Uh, Nate Sandoval says, I love your Aztec skull pores. Thank you, my friend. I like them too. They're very, very attractive, and I really do like the Aztec themed stuff. Um, Dom555 says, have I ever thought of embedding a coin in the base of a bar? No, but what I have thought of doing is, so here's... Um, Here's one of Bunker Bullion stuff. I would not never do this with Bunker Bullion stuff, but it's a nice little representation. So if we had a bar this kind of size and a coin, what I would like to do one day is experiment by having the bar, and once I've poured it and it's cooling and the ripples are forming, I want to drop a coin into the middle of the cooling silver, and it will be captured and caught there. You'd have to do it with a pretty sizable bar for the silver to be uh, molten long enough to capture the coin and have it stick in there but I think that would look incredible it looked like the coin had been thrown into the silver and formed the ripples that's definitely something that I want to try and do at some point but um, it's finding the nerve to do it and the skill to do it which is very interesting um, Davy Deglin says I'm back and had to put the kid to bed did I miss some news on the European mint paws I don't think I've even talked about the European mint paws um, we have finished production on them they are up in the Edinburgh assay office right now so hopefully in two weeks time they will be back and ready to be shipped to all of their new owners. So that's the update on those. We will be doing more of them at some point, probably not till 2020 though, early 2020, because um, we're just so chock-a-block busy. We really are. Like I've got so much on my plate right now, as well as having surgery coming up at some point in the near future. Uh, for those who watched my video yesterday and don't know, I have a very dodgy foot and I will need to have some surgery on it. So um, yeah, things are pretty bonkers at the moment and uh, hopefully we will uh, be able to bring more European mint stuff at some point in the future. Um, so, Mr. Moller says, BYB, what will happen with Britannia coins if the UK leaves the EU? Are we still able to buy them at normal prices? Mm, in theory, yes, but 
you'd have to pay import taxes if you bring it into the UK. Um, so who knows is the honest answer. It's just an unknown and that's the nuts and bolts of Brexit. Nobody really knows what's going to go on and it really frustrates and annoys business owners like myself because you can't plan for the future without really knowing what is going to happen. So, we are, I think, drawing to a natural close for today's live stream. It's been an absolute honour and privilege and pleasure to have all of you guys here today and to chat with you all and uh, to share the results of the live stream. Congratulations again to Papa Rich and Red Dead Wild Bill. Uh, I really do appreciate all of the support. Um, it's really very, very cool of you to... Um, you know, to support the channel and, uh, and to say hello. And, uh, we really appreciate it. If you guys do want to support the channel even further, there is no better way than by ordering some of our hand-pulled silver. We don't have a lot of stock up available on our website right now. And in fact, we've had to turn off a lot of the pre-order items because we are so busy at the moment. So if you would like to support the channel, then please feel free. Uh, you know, there's there's many different ways that you can get involved. We've got uh, obviously the the silver. You can super chat us on these live streams, or simply just hit the like button and hit the comment. You know, comment on our videos, like the videos, do anything you want. That's all we need to do. Um, you know, that that's ultimately it. So, thank you for watching. I really have enjoyed uh, today's live stream. I wish I could sit here and talk to you guys for a lot longer, but it's a very, very, uh, you know, it's a, it's, a long, it's a long time to sit here, an hour and 20 minutes talking at the camera, and uh, I really do uh, have other things I need to do. My dog needs to go and have a walk. We need to cook dinner. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you one and all. If you have not done so already, hit the like button, and uh, it's really very cool. We'll do more live streams at some point in the future, I'm sure. So make sure to stick around for updates on those. Otherwise, guys, give a huge thank you to all of our moderators as well who've been stepping in. I know there's been a few people who've had to have comments deleted from uh, Nasty Horrible Trolls. Ma massively amazingly, though, there's only one thumbs down on this. It must be my perpetual troll that likes to stalk and hate us. So uh, only one person putting that thumbs down. Uh, but thank you to all the, the moderators for uh, helping and sorting everything out in the chat. It's really very helpful indeed. That's it. Thank you. We'll see you on the next one. We've got some cool videos lined up for the rest of the week. I hope you guys will enjoy those. Have a fantastic day if it's early in the day for you, wherever you may be. Have a fantastic rest of the weekend if you're in the UK and enjoy the week ahead. Thank you and see you on the next one.